Hi, this is Keenan Maxfield, owner of Maxfield Innovations and technical support agent for Gringo Solar Wholesale Distribution. I'm going to do just a really quick pro tip video today. Anyone who knows me well in a professional context knows that I like using the Midnight E panels with the Victron 5 kilowatt Multi Plus 2. Now it's not exactly designed for this, but I will show you how I install this just really quickly here. So the 5K Multi Plus 2 inverter, it is UL listed, and it has these knockouts in the back. And these knockouts align up with the knockouts in the E-panel. So you simply take this, you knock out those knockouts, you put the lid for the E-panel underneath it, and you snap those in, and that gives you the lineup. And then you take the front cover off of this inverter, Careful about that LED cord. Obviously, I already had it disconnected. And you put in self-drilling screws in the four corners. Now, these bushings come with the E-panel, so you don't need to buy that. However, on my next install, I'm planning on experimenting with using three-inch chase nipples instead of those bushings. Uh, and I believe that's going to allow me to eliminate these bottom two screws. But you'll still need to put in two screws in the top. Now, for those screws, I just use uh, self-drilling screws. I was gonna grab one to show you, but um, I've got only, oh, here it is. These self-drilling screws, uh, number 12 diameter and inch and a quarter long. Um, this one that I grabbed is not the right one. That's only one inch long. One inch will not work. It needs to be at least inch and a quarter. So you put those screws in and then you use a flap disc on a grinder to just grind the tip off of those screws. If I can flip this over with one hand. When you're done, it's going to look about like that. So the screw comes through the metal and it's ground off nice and smooth. And that way you don't have any sharp points reaching into the wiring box. Now here's one that is hung. And I'll show you the once, once both are hung. But you can see, once you've done that, then you can just hook it on the E-panel and wire it in. And here they are. Obviously, I need to put the front covers on and do all the wiring. But we've had those two really nice three-inch holes. And we can open this up nice and wide. Plenty of room to work in here. And we've got the holes to pass through from box to box. So that gives us lots of room inside. So really nice setup. Um, these E-panels are designed for three kilowatt inverters. So you do have to do some slight modifications like the screws that I just mentioned. Also, the DC breaker that comes with it is designed for a three kilowatt inverter. So you have to switch that out to a larger DC breaker. That is minimal, minimal. All of the AC wiring is already designed for 50 amps because the three kilowatt inverter has a 50 amp pass through. But if you think about continuous use, these in five kilowatt inverters cannot produce more than 50 amps continuous anyways. So I, my, in my opinion, this 50 amp wiring is perfect for the 5K inverter. Uh, of course, if you want to use the 70 amp pass through of the 5K inverter, then you would have to redo all the AC wiring as well. But assuming you don't need that, all we have to do now is run a couple of jumpers from this box to this box. And then all our AC is going to tie in here, be able to put in breakers over here for the solar panels. And that's it.